Okay. So, after a many failed prints, Palette 2S Pro finally seems to be working. So, after talking to support from Mosaic, they had me take this little rubber wheel off and soak it in alcohol for a second and just clean it off. Okay, that was their that was their recommendation. I also, because they actually include an extra one in there, pulled off the old buffer uh, switch here and uh, replaced it. Made sure it was tightened down, checked the, the click, and it seems to be working. So, hopefully, this all finishes here. Uh, I gotta get dial in my, my purge block more. Uh, one of the things that I did because I was running into an issue specifically with uh, uh, PETG, because I'm using PETG as the dent support material in here, is <clears throat> that when this the hot end would actually heat up and then cool down, um, the PLA was cooling too fast inside of the um, the hot end line, uh, the actual nozzle inside the, the, uh, the neck, the throat, and it was clogging it, so it would get stuck. So uh, one of the recommendations on the, the Facebook group was to find a balance between the center of the PETG and um, the PLA. So I'm printing my PLA right now at, at 220, which is it's just hotter than I generally print. Now, the material that I'm using for the supports, this uh, almost transparent or semi-transparent red, um, I've got a ton of spools of it, but that tends to want to print hotter anyway. So I usually print at about 220. Uh, my normal PLA, I'm usually at 205 or 210. And then PETG, I, I'm usually printing right about 250, 255. One of the things that I have noticed is, if, if you see in here, you can see where the PETG is kind of uh, sticking out. Printing the P in PETG at 230, because uh, I do have it at uh, 230, uh, still isn't really hot enough when it starts to cool down to really kind of keep the uh, PETG um, sticking. So. I'm going to increase the PETG temperature at the hot end a little bit. Now one of the things that I will also note is as the hot end cools down in the temperature shift in this Chidi X Max um, with the Chi2 board and all the rest, there's, there's actually about a 6 degree dip uh, before the hot end catches up to reheat up to that 220 on the on the 230 to 220 uh, shift. So having that at a hotter temperature should help uh, that uh, that cool down because say when I was setting that at 210, it was actually dipping to, uh, down to about you know 200, 198 in some of the uh, significant dips, and that was really probably causing that uh, that nozzle to clog. Or at least the uh, the filament to clog inside the throat there. So one of the things that I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to increase the PET G temperature to you know 240, 245. Test it with a uh, 220, 230 PLA, and even in that dip, I should still stay hot enough so that uh, the PLA filament doesn't actually solidify inside the neck there on that dip. So, printing a Omen uh, style case for Pi 4 here. This will be connected to the GDX Max. I'll do a full video on this thing. I love this printer uh, by far out of my FL Sun, uh, my TiVo. Uh, the, I, I absolutely love the X Max. Uh, we've got more coming on the Green Machine. The Green Machine's been upgraded. Uh, we're running some big old ball screws and yeah the only thing that's really kind of left of the original Troxy is uh, the outside frame here. Um, I'm going to be printing some new parts for the uh, the X 
access there and yeah so more to come on that but definitely since that upgrade or since the change out it was most likely a hardware issue um, uh, over the necessarily the alcohol soaked wheel um, but yeah so I'll update this as uh, as it changes